A major upgrade of the British Army's main battle tank featuring extra firepower and cutting-edge protection systems will ensure the United Kingdom remains at the forefront of tank design, poised to respond to future global threats and challenges. An £800 million contract will see the British Army equipped with 148 of the most lethal main battle tanks in Europe, the Defence Secretary has announced. The new vehicle, described by the Ministry of Defence as the most lethal main battle tanks in Europe, will be able to travel up to 60 miles per hour and features an upgraded suspension to improve accuracy when firing on the move. The Challenger 3 will be equipped with an automatic target detection and tracking system to identify enemies, along with new long-range thermal cameras. A contract with Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land to deliver 148 Challenger 3 tanks will extend the platform's out-of-service date to 2040. It will provide 200 skilled jobs at RBSL, including 130 engineers and 70 technicians. A further 450 jobs will be established throughout the wider supply chain across the West Midlands, Glasgow, Newcastle-upon-Tyne and the Isle of Wight. The fully digital Challenger 3 tank fleet will be produced at BAE Systems Land's Rheinmetall plant in Telford in Shropshire and will replace the existing Challenger 2 vehicles that have been in operation since 1998. It will offer export opportunities and will support the case for the United Kingdom participation in any future international tank programs. The overhaul will include a new 120mm smoothbore gun which uses the most advanced globally available ammunition, a new suite of sights providing tank commanders with enhanced day and night targeting abilities, new modular armor, an active protection system, a turret that can be fitted to the tanks of allies and global partners. Deputy Chief of the General Staff, Lieutenant General Chris Tickle CBE, said, The integrated review described a transformed army that will be more lethal, better protected and better connected than any of its comparators. Challenger 3 is a manifestation of exactly that change and will sit at the heart of our warfighting capability. Its digital open architecture will ensure that it is integrated across the battlefield, its main armament will overmatch its adversaries and the crew will be afforded a unique level of protection. It is a battle winner. The United Kingdom Defence Science and Technology Laboratory James McGeary said, Key design changes on the Challenger 3 provide a growth path to further increase the already enhanced lethality offered. These growth options will ensure that the United Kingdom remains at the forefront of main battle tank design and can adapt and respond to future threats and challenges. Land Equipment Director for DE&S, Major General Darren Crook said, this is a significant step forward for the defence and UK industry as we continue to develop and modernise our land vehicle fleet and I look forward to working with our industry partners to bring out the best in our capabilities. Can for the British Army. As outlined in a recent Defence Command paper, the British Army will be easier to deploy and better protected against our adversaries. The Challenger 3 announcement reaffirms our commitment to invest £3 billion into Army's equipment over the next decade, providing a modernised, adaptable and expeditionary fighting force. Today's main battle tank is threatened by more systems than ever before, and this has led the United Kingdom to develop a new, modular armour that will defeat even the most demanding of threats. As part of the Challenger 3's layered protection, the fleet will also be the first to receive the best active protection system allowing it to recognize incoming threats and neutralize them. The tank will undergo full electromagnetic testing to ensure it is survivable in the most demanding of sensor-saturated battlefields. The world-leading new modular armor has been developed through advances in armor technology provided by the in-house chief scientific advisor-funded armor expertise held within the United Kingdom Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. 
This defense science and technology laboratory owned intellectual property has generated significant interest and is being exploited through the close links United Kingdom Defense Science and Technology Laboratory has with the Ministry of Defense and Industry. Challenger 3 will lead NATO armored forces with the highest levels of lethality and survivability on the battlefields of today and out to 2040. It achieves this not only by using the new gun, but also by making use of the most advanced ammunition available globally from our allies. The new suite of sights gives the tank commander an independent day, night and all-weather hunter killer capability, which allows them to acquire and engage targets quicker than potential adversaries. The tank has also been designed to play its part in multi-domain warfare whilst retaining the ability to operate in the literal environment, between the land and sea, in support of the future commando force. Challenger 3 will be fitted with a digitized backbone connecting it to the other combat vehicles that make up the fighting brigade, enabling data sharing across domains to deliver information advantage and enable multi-domain integration and an edge over adversaries. With its modular design, it offers operational commanders an enhanced survivability suite capable of taking on any battlefield threats that it is likely to encounter across the world. All in all, the British Army's new and improved main battle tank will pack a real punch and represents a major generational upgrade in capability. It will be defense's only 24-hour, all-weather, mobile, protected, precision, direct fire, anti-armor maneuver capability, and will be critical to defense's ability to deliver hard power, underpinning our credibility in the land domain and underwriting our commitments to our allies. The Army is expected to receive the first tanks in 2027 and the full fleet by 2030. As part of a defense review announced earlier this year, troop numbers will be reduced to 72,500 by 2025 as the focus shifts to drones and cyber warfare.